Hello everyone, my name is Kodamore and welcome to episode 26 of Creating a Space Shooter with Godot. So now it's time to get our score working. Remember in our heads up display we have the score label that we just set to a bunch of zeros. So every time we kill an enemy or we destroy a meteor, we want our score to increase. So to do that we are going to use a custom signal. So we'll go into our signal script where we have the signal for when a player when the, for when the life of a player changes. And we'll create another signal which we're going to say on score increment. And this will take in the amount to increase the score by. And we're actually going to go into our heads up display here. We'll go into the script and we'll create a variable to hold the player's score. So we'll create a variable score. That'll be an integer. And we'll simply set that equal to zero to begin with. Next, we have to actually listen for whenever something wants to increment the player's score to that signal we just made. So in the ready function of our heads up display, we'll do our signals class dot connect the on score increment, and we'll connect it to a method in our selves, which I'm going to call the same thing with an underscore in front of it. So in this class, because we specified self here as a parameter, we need a function called this. So I'll create a function called exactly that, that will take in the amount to increase by, which we said was going to be an integer. And all we have to do here is simply add to the score variable the amount, and then we also have to set the score label to reflect that. So first we have to access this score label from our heads up display. So we'll have an onReady variable called score label. That'll equal to our dollar sign score node, this right here. And with a label node, we can simply do score label dot text to set the text to something. We're going to set it equal to our score, but we have to make sure we cast that to a string because this text property is a string. And that'll simply update the score. So now if we play our game, nothing's going to happen because nothing is actually emitting this on score increment signal. So I'm actually just going to have every enemy that gets killed increment the score by one. You could do it per enemy if you'd like, but I'm just going to go into my enemy.gd script. And whenever an enemy gets damaged and its health falls below zero, I'm going to simply do signals dot emit signal the on score increment by one. We'll add one to the player's score. And I'm going to do the same thing, so I'm going to copy it for when the player destroys a meteor. So I'll go into my meteor script, we'll go into the damage function, and whenever its life gets less than or equal to zero, we'll increment the score by, I don't know, we'll increment it by two whenever a meteor gets destroyed. So now let's see if this is working. So there I have a spaceship, and if I kill a spaceship, as you can see my score switches to the number one. And if we go ahead and try to kill this guy here, our score switches to 2, and it all works fine. When we destroy that meteor, it increments our score by 2, and that is how we can get our simple score system working. I'm actually just going to make this label default to a single zero, just so it looks a little bit more normal. And just like that, using one signal, we were able to get this score displayed to the screen using our heads up display. However, there is a potential issue with this that I found in the past. So I don't know if you just saw it right there, but I just killed one enemy, but my score increased by two, and that's a big issue. Why is that happening? Well, let's take a look at our enemy scene, in fact our enemy script rather, and let's take a look at the damage function of our enemy. Basically we subtract the amount of damage we should do, and if the health is less than zero, then we make the, the enemy blow up, we add this effect, and we increment the score by one. But this code clearly ran twice for that single entity, for that single enemy. And then we remove the enemy, so it shouldn't even exist, it shouldn't even be able to happen again. The problem arises is when two bullets hit the enemy at the exact same time and kill the enemy. Basically, if two bullets enter the enemy's area, they're both going to damage the same enemy if it happens at the same frame. So the first bullet is going to damage and kill the, the enemy, make the explosion, increment the score by one, and then it's going to queue this enemy for freeing to remove it from the scene. But the key word is this does not remove the enemy right away. This queues it to be removed at the end of the current frame. That means when the other bullet comes through, it decreases its health by whatever damage it's doing. Now health is negative, so this if statement is still going to run. It's going to increase the score yet again in the same frame, and then it's just going to queue the enemy to be freed again, which it's already queued to be freed. So that's where that issue arises, is when two bullets enter the enemy's area at the same time 
and they both have enough strength to kill it, essentially. It might not happen often, but it definitely happens. So at the top of the damage function of the enemy, we have to make sure that the enemy has not already been killed. That way in case of that situation and this gets called a second time, it doesn't run all this code. So we're going to say if health is already less than or equal to zero, simply return from this function. We don't need to do anything, this enemy is already dead. And in fact, we have to do the same thing for the meteor. So I'm going to go into the meteor uh, function here, and in its damage, before anything happens, we have to make sure its life is not already less than or equal to zero. If it is, we have to return from this function and not run any of this code. That way it doesn't increment the player's score by four accidentally just for destroying a single meteor. And that will essentially make our game look the exact same, it's all going to work as it was, it's just we're not going to have that duplicate score bug whenever two bullets are able to kill the enemy at the exact same time. And that problem should never happen again. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode.